It's been nearly a decade since Steve Jobs spoke at the graduation exercise at Stanford in 2005. I have watched that video uh, hundreds of times. Um, and within six years of his commencement speech, he died of pancreatic cancer. A half a, year, a half a dozen years ago, um, 2008, I didn't have a very good year. I uh, fell off of a ladder, hit my head uh, on a stone wall, and had uh, subdural hematoma. Was in ICU for three or four weeks. Don't remember a thing. Um, that same year, I had prostate cancer and uh, I danced with death several times and understand what Steve Jobs is saying. And I was, and I was watching that commencement exercise of his speech again and again. I was looking at the faces of the graduating class and thinking, you know, they certainly were happy, delighted to have Steve Jobs there. He was an idol to them also. But I wonder how many of that graduating class understood fully what Jobs was saying. I mean, they got it intellectually, but I don't think they got it in their gut because I don't think they could have gotten it because probably none of them have danced with that. And so Steve Jobs is speaking to a group of people who probably were too young to fully understand what he was saying. I mean, they understood it intellectually. Uh, I, I, I can't imagine them understanding it fully unless they have danced with death. It's unlikely that many of you who are going to read this article uh, will have had uh, one or two dance with deaths, death already. Um, and therefore, you're probably not going to fully understand it. And I'm making a suggestion. If you haven't danced with death, at least trust me and certainly trust Steve Jobs um, with his, uh, his understanding of life and death. He said that death is very likely the single best invention of life because it makes us understand the brevity of our lives. And so even though you haven't danced with death, probably, my suggestion is that you get driven, you get motivated, you become in, engaged in living life. Because before you know it, the end uh, will be uh, very close. And Jobs and I do not wish that you will waste the time of your life not living. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this article, but more importantly, I hope you enjoy living life. You take care in the meantime. Thank you very much.